Are these LEGO Star Wars minifigures from Timu worth the money? Let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Christopher and today I'm taking a look at some Star Wars LEGO minifigures that my wife picked up for me off of the Timu website. So if you haven't heard of Timu, it's very similar to Wish where you can buy all sorts of products for very, very inexpensive prices, really, really cheap prices. Um, and for the most part, these items, a lot of these items aren't the actual brand name items. So in other words, most of the time they're cheap knockoffs, which is fine. Um, so my wife picked these up off of the Timu website. She picked me up about six or seven uh, Lego minifigures, Star Wars Lego minifigures at about $1.50 Canadian each. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to check that out. Um, so she got me a bunch of them. So we're going to take a look at them today, build them because they're not put together. And we'll take a look at them today. So um, she got me the Grogu in the pram. Again, none of these are assembled, so there are some assembly required, and um, it looks like there's, uh, you know, hands, little little tiny hands and little tiny arms, so there's going to be a lot of pieces that could get lost, so i got to be very careful when building this thing. Next one we have Boba Fett from the Book of Boba Fett, and all of these uh, figures, other than the Grogu, have its own uh, little base, which is nice. Next one we have a Cad Bane Lego minifigure, a Jawa, I have a couple different clones so I got a 501st clone here with the blue and then I can't remember which uh, legion of clones this is but this is another clone here as well and then I have the uh, Imperial Shadow Guard I believe this one is with the, uh, the black helmet there um let me know in the comments if you know what this one's called uh but we'll i'm gonna open these up i'm gonna assemble them and we'll take a closer look at them but full disclosure guys i am by no means a star wars lego expert uh by any means um i used to collect star wars lego back in my early years of collecting but stopped to collect other items instead um so these are really the first my first star wars lego minifigures in a very long time so um, I can't really compare them to anything that is officially released by LEGO. However, I can give you my honest opinion on these, uh, whether the quality is good enough and whether they're worth the $1.50 um, on the website that you, you pay for these things. So without further ado, let's get these things together. <laughs> So I have all the Star Wars minifigures uh, put together. Um, I had a few of them, I think like three or four of them that had uh, an extra hand in the package and then the Grogu had an extra gray piece that I don't see where it fits anywhere. Um, so I guess just an extra piece, but let me show you these things one by one here. So here is the Grogu in the pram and he looks pretty cute. So he sits inside the pram. He doesn't have any legs, so he just kind of sits on one of the... Uh, the studs there, one of the pieces there, um, and then there's a two-piece lid, so the back piece snaps in there, and then this other piece goes on top, and it can go closed like that, and it just sits flat, so it's got a flat bottom, so it can sit flat, so this is the only one that didn't come with a base, so that's the Grogu, um, overall, pretty nice one, I would, uh, I would say this one's worth the, uh, $1.50. Next one is the Jawa, and this one's uh, this one's not bad either. Um, this is the first of the rest of them that uh, come with the base, because like all the rest of them come with the base, so this is the first one that comes with its own little base to stand the figure on. Um, details on this one's pretty good, like the paint application on the, uh, on the torso itself there looks pretty good on the front and on the back. And he comes with his little, his little blaster there. Um, and then a hood to go over the black head there with the eyes, the yellow eyes there. So he looks pretty cool. So I would say maybe worth a dollar fifty for sure. Um, this one's pretty cool. Next one is the Imperial Shadow Guard, and uh, this one had just like a plain red uh, Lego head that the the black helmet fit over to give that illusion of a red visor. 
Um, so I think he looks pretty cool. Again, the, the paint application is pretty good on these figures. Um, all of these figures, the, uh, the torso does feel a little bit cheap. Like, it doesn't feel the same quality as, um, like, the legs for some reason. It feels like a, a slightly cheaper plastic. But, I mean, for $1.50, I don't think you can lose for this guy. This guy looks pretty cool. He comes with his staff there, which is a little bit crooked there. Let me fix that. But, uh, yeah, he looks, this guy looks pretty cool. He's got his staff lightsaber there. So this guy's probably one of my favorite ones out of the ones that I, uh, that my wife picked up for me here. And he does have a cloth cape that fits underneath his head as well. So this guy does look very cool. So I'd say this guy is worth the, uh, $1.50 for sure. All right, this next one is the first of the two clones that I have. And this one has the, uh, the most pieces of all these minifigures, um, in this little mini Timu hall um so this one has like the helmet the arms obviously that all have to be assembled the legs but there's also these little clip-on pieces that clip onto the legs here these white pieces here um these white the gauntlets there they they snap in over the arms before you put the hands on um and then it has like a little torso piece that you put between the the torso and the legs there um and then that that kind of that's my only gripe about this figure because that that's preventing the, the legs from sticking or staying on properly, so it, it's very loose there. Um, it should be okay to, to just have on display, though. Um, and then this guy also has, like, the jet pack at the back that snaps on, and then, like, the shoulder uh, armor and the chest armor. That's all one piece that slips on um, between the torso and the head. And then, of course, you got the helmet. And it comes with two blasters here, that big one that's hanging from the jet pack, the long one there and then I'm not sure what this piece is in his other hand so I just put it in that hand there I didn't see a spot for that to go um, but yeah my only gripe about this one is like how many pieces there are I would kind of do prefer the painted on armor as you'll see with the next clone um, but this one does have quite a bit of detail like you got the the rebellion symbol there for some reason uh, for a clone I'm not too sure he has the same symbol on his helmet there um, but lots of little details on him like the paint application is nice again like the for some reason all the torso pieces feel a little little bit cheaper than the rest of the the figure itself but everything snaps together good like the arms and stuff snap together good so that, i have no complaints there so the next one is also a clone trooper um so as i mentioned i prefer the painted on armor on this guy as opposed to the kind of clip-on armor that go over the legs and the the wrists on this one um, I do like the color scheme on this guy and again the paint application on the armor itself looks really good um, it does this one does come with like the the shoulder pads and chest armor that slip on over between the uh, the torso and the head um, he does have these two little spots at the back where I guess you could put a, a jet pack but this one didn't come with a jet pack so that's fine but he does look cool um, my only, I think my only complaint about this one is the size of the gun. Like, it doesn't sit properly. It looks way too big for this figure. Uh, but he does look cool, so he'll look pretty cool on display. The next one is the Cad Bane figure. And this one is probably my favorite figure out of these little mini, uh, these Star Wars minifigures. Um, the detail on this one's really good. Um, on the, the head, you can actually see, like, bits of the, the tube painted onto his face there. The red eyes, and then... You got this little gray piece that kind of sits between the again the the head and the uh, torso it, it just kind of goes on there and it's the rest of his tubes there and then you got that big hat that looks great um, so yeah I think this one's probably my favorite figure out of these ones and then last but not least uh, my guy Boba Fett here again um, the blaster is a little bit big. It came with like this big extension to go on the end of the blaster there, which I'm assuming is it, that's what it's for. Um, but again, the paint application is really nice. It's got the mythosaur skull on the one shoulder there. They did a really good job of that. The helmet looks great. Um, one thing I forgot to show on the other clones there is the uh, head sculpt. Like so, like they do put some detail onto the head as well. So they do a really good job there. Um, my only complaint about this one is like his his visor his uh, viewfinder target finder it snaps into the side of his helmet so it can go down like that but you got to be careful it doesn't stick in very well 
um, but it does look cool. So this one's probably one of my favorite figures as well. Um, being stylized after the Book of Boba Fett, he looks pretty cool there. So I would say, in my opinion, overall, I would say they're worth $1.50 Canadian. Um, the only one that, that I really have a gripe with, like, a, a, like not really a huge problem, but I prefer the, the painted on clone armor on the, uh, on the 501st clone trooper as opposed to the, uh, this other trooper here with all the, the snap on pieces of pieces that clip on over his, uh, his feet and his arms and stuff like that. I'd rather just have the painted on armor like this. Um, but he does look cool nonetheless. So very cool little figures. Um, I'm probably not going to buy more of them because it's just not something that I collect. But if you guys are Lego collectors and you guys are looking for some different minifigures, these are definitely worth the money at $1.50 Canadian. I think they, that comes out to like less than a $1 dollar uh, American, if I'm not mistaken, or around there, maybe just over a dollar. So pretty decent price for these figures and they all have a base other than Grogu. So I would say worth the money if you are into collecting Star Wars Lego minifigures. But what do you think of all these Star Wars Lego minifigures from Chimu? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and then click to watch one of my other reviews. Thank you so much for watching, and may the Force be with you.